Hello, fashion friends and family. This is Stacy here from So Bromo, Mason Elsa Fitzgerald, and the Fashion Heritage and Needle Trades Foundation. Um, just wanted to give you an update for the new year of 2024. We're super thrilled with the Fashion Innovation Hub kickoff. Um, we've received our first uh, industrial sewing machine from the Buyback Baltimore's Needle Trades campaign. We are $200 away from our, the purchase of our second industrial sewing machine. Um, we've been able to bring over the um, heritage uh, machine area so we can kind of bring awareness to the history of not only the garment industry but these beautiful um, happy cute sewing machines which we love um, and then we are now in preparation for um, the pl program plan uh, for the one year um, Needle Trades All Stars Accelerator. Uh, we currently have six members within the entrepreneurship group and we are now at a place where we are conf feel confident to now reach out and expand that uh, community. Um, our target is to achieve a thousand members in our first year so that we can activate as many who are um, really curious and excited to build fashion ventures, but in particular, some of which we'll be looking to make in Baltimore so that we can average, say, 100 entrepreneurs that are going to cycle through um, the product development and production process and through the programs that we are um, activating so that they are moving away from the debt-ridden system, right? So they're pre-selling their collections and products so that it goes into production based on goods that have already been sold to test the market market. Um, the other part of the work is the actual run. Uh, so we are training for the 333 mile run. Um, I have to say, I put my training on hold during the holidays, but Nicole didn't. Nicole was out uh, back home in Washington State and she was training in the forest and her, her made in Baltimore Icosa apparel. So I'm really proud and of course, very inspired by her commitment. <laughs> Our next phase is to wrap up the Icosa Apparel collection, the run collection, so we can use that as a proof of concept to a test run, uh, leaning into or wedging into that Buy Back Baltimore Needle Trades campaign. So the Bali to Baltimore run in May of 2024. Uh, we have more dates for that on our website. And we really thank you for your support so far. Uh, for those who have been a part of this journey, feel free to share this campaign. We're going to keep the momentum going. Our target, just to kind of recap, is a thousand members for the actual program, but our target for funders is a thousand contributing a hundred dollars. So that really makes up um, for uh, being able to purchase the machines, the equipment. Um, so that we can actually produce um, at industrial level uh, these sample production runs for these ventures to launch. Because what something to understand is that the big business of fashion, big companies, corporations, they are not making in their local communities. And we are here as the impact-driven fashion entrepreneurs to activate through new innovations, new product launches that are in small batches. So the fashion entrepreneurs are going to be leading the way for innovation and entrepreneurship um, within the local communities for garment industry making. Um, we are excited and thrilled, but we can't do this alone. We need your support. We don't have the big corporate dollars that a large organization would have. That is why we are kind of activating this campaign for those thousand, a thousand funders at a hundred dollars, because that will go a long way in getting us to that hundred thousand dollar mark in order to fully um, move from the feasibility study into an activated one-year pilot for this um, fashion innovation hub. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. And let's reactivate this industry with impact-driven fashion entrepreneurs. All right. See you next time.